Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us of what took place after the battle of Uhud. We know that the battle of Uhud was difficult for the companions. We know that they had taken much loss. We know that they were broken and they were beat. But what happened after that is that the Prophet sallallahu told the companions that they need to go out again. As they come home, barely scraping by, their spirits are down. And now the Prophet sallallahu says, we have to go out again because Quraysh is gathering, the mushrikun are gathering. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, الَّذِينَ اسْتَجَابُوا لِلَّهِ وَالرَّسُولِ Those who answered the call, those who responded to Allah and His Messenger مِنْ بَعْدِ مَا جَاءَهُمْ الْقَرْحِ After they were struck with injury. And now Allah testifies that they responded to Allah and His Messenger. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, الَّذِينَ أَحْسَنُوا مِنْهُمْ وَاتَّقَوْا أَجْرٌ عَظِيمٌ Those who did ihsan from them. And they had taqwa, the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the consciousness of Allah, submission to Allah, for them is a great reward. But it doesn't stop there. Because Allah tells us of the forces that were working against the companions of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. See, not only was there physical warfare taking place against the companions, there was psychological warfare taking place as well. There was an element in society known as the hypocrites. And these hypocrites were waging psychological warfare and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us of what they said. Allah tells us that these companions are those people who the hypocrites said to them, the people have gathered against you. Meaning they're strong. It's going to be difficult for you to come out victorious. What the hypocrites are telling the companions here is that you just came back from battle. We lost lives and you're feeling tired and injured and so on and so forth. And now the forces are gathering against you you once again. Now imagine being in that psychological state where now you're already feeling lost and then you have your supposed brothers in Islam telling you that this is not something which is doable. They're gathered against you and they said, فَخْشَوْهُمْ You should fear them. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala now once again tells us of the state of the iman, of the faith of the companions. Because when they heard this, they didn't go step aside and say, you know what, this is something we really need to think about. We really need to consider whether we're willing to put our life on the line once again. We really need to think about whether this is a winnable battle or not. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that when they were told that the people have gathered against you, so fear them, what did it do to them? فَزَادَهُمْ imana. It increased them in Iman. And you ask yourself, my brothers and sisters, what is that type of Iman to begin with? You want to see a modern day example of this? Look at your brothers and sisters in Gaza right now. As they're being slaughtered, as they're being bombed, as they're being killed, as our children in Gaza are being slaughtered and killed and maimed, what is on the lips of the believers in Gaza and Palestine? Do we find them to be afraid? Do we find them saying, you know what, it's time to give up. It's time to retreat. You know what, maybe we should leave Gaza. Because we are being told that this war is going to continue and we hear Israeli officials keep saying that the goal is to wipe out the Palestinian population. The goal is to evacuate Gaza. They're being told this over and over again. What is the impact on the people of Gaza? The impact is فَزَادَهُمْ imana. It only increases them in Iman. And they say, as Allah tells us that the companions of the Prophet said, وَقَالُوا حَسْبُنَ اللَّهِ Allah is sufficient for us. وَنِعْمَ الْوَكِيلِ And Allah is the best protector. And Allah one ayah later tells us, إِنَّمَا ذَلِكُمُ الشَّيْطَانِ That is the shaytan. يُخَوِّفُ أَوْلِيَاءَ He makes you afraid of his allies. فَلَا تَخَافُوهُمْ وَخَافُونِي إِن كُنْتُمْ مُؤْمِنِينَ Do not fear them. Do not fear the allies of the shaytan. Rather fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you are believers.